here. We're finally here. I hope the beacon of this lost city actually works. For fuck's sake, it's better. Walking to the pole would be a pain in the ass. Our rover mods have made my baby more sluggish than... Well, me after a few drinks. Anyway, I can tell you that we aren't the first to go down this path. You think it's the ASC? Not sure, but I can make out tracks. Some of which look older than you. How strange. This feels like we're going back in time. I wonder how this will change things between humans and mutants. If we contact Earth, many things will change. And if we have any say, those changes will be for the betterment of all mutant kind. Soothing words, but I cannot help but be suspicious. They may be our ancestors, but I have the feeling they won't be pleased with their descendants. I wonder if Victor's beat us to the punch. If he did... He wouldn't destroy it. He couldn't. He's an egomaniac. He'd just want credit for being the first to turn it. Now, what worries me is what happens if he discovers our secret. Either way, it's time to end this. Time for a little payback. Mancer style. doing here I was just reading and I found out shit this is your fault you knew that we're all mutants yes that's the secret the one we share at initiation and bear into our graves the one we try to protect at any cost do you understand why now you the others I could see it I wouldn't even be surprised but me never I could never be one of those abominations we all have the genes that the settlers made. Just like Great Master Ian was. Just like Sean was. Just like Connor, Melvin, Andrew, and I are. You are a mutant, Alan. Shut up! Not another word! <laughs> Done? I... I am sorry, Zack. What have I done? I've tried so hard to destroy you and the others. I wanted so much to be the best. That I ended up rushing my brothers, my sisters, towards their ruin. You were so gifted. So loved by our masters. I hated you and them with a passion. And I could never understand why. I was blind. Stuck believing that I deserved to be special. I only knew that then. He knows, you know. Because of me. You're talking about Victor. Yes. He was there when we found the documents. And the moment they were in his grasp, he looked at me like a piece of meat and started laughing. The charm melted away and the cruelty came. You have to kill him, Zack. If he survives. I know. I'll do my duty. Question is, what should we do with you? Normally, I'd tell you what a non-dumbass would do, but I'm gonna keep my trap shut for this one. This is about your kin, and after what he's done, he's gotta answer to you, and only you.
careful, Amelia. The city is hiding much more than just treasure. A rover probably belongs to the ASC. The bridge collapsed behind them, but Victor couldn't have gone too far. Better keep my guard up. As long as Victor breathes, his men will hunt like wolves. Then let's shove a stick so far up their asses they can't hunt. Or walk. Yeah. 
Zachariah Manser. I was wondering if you'd make it this far. But I must admit you're particularly sharp. For a mutant. You are too late. I've already discovered the dark secret that your kind has hidden for so long. However, this city... Amazing, isn't it? So full of wonders. A complex of keys to a brand new world. That doesn't matter. You're not gonna live to see it. Really? Do you intend to kill me? Like that poor boy, Jeff? You won't get the opportunity. My men are a little bit on edge after what you did to their comrade. Now, if you would be so kind, I'm going to pry that last secret out of the belly of this city. The one that will give me a hero's welcome back at abundance. Help me impose a new world order. Farewell, Zachariah. Chin up. Thanks to your hard work, abundance will now have a bigger, brighter future. Sorry to bother you, but I'm gonna have to stop you right there. I have to admit, even after everything, you are still full of surprises. Such tenacity. Your efforts are futile. Don't you understand? If not me, someone else is bound to reveal your secret. So why not use this revelation as an opportunity? As a chance to promote the corporation that raised you? You're the one who doesn't realize he's playing with fire. And that even tyrants can burn. We shall see. blood-sucking motherfucker. Ironic, to say the least. Please tell me that's your stomach. Afraid not, but whatever it is, it sounds big and angry. We better hurry to Center City. help, the corporations won't have a reason to be here. And we won't either. You're worried? What happened to the adventurer I fell in love with? You're right. It's an adventure. I just don't want it to end. Because for me, Mars is still home. But only if you're with me. All right, let's go. I'm not gonna cry like some sissy. Whatever we do, we do together. Yes, you ditch me for Earth, don't forget to kiss your balls goodbye.
Surely the beacon is here. This place is breathtaking. The ice has preserved it well. Initializing solar system display. Wasted, dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What am I gonna tell them? What do you think I should do, Amelia? Grow a pair of ears, will ya? I say, cut the bullshit. Tell everyone the truth. It'll suck in the beginning, but only by knowing will people start growing. Damn, I should be a poet. Abundance might fall, but after what they did to us, sucks to suck. Then we could always crash a Noctis or Mutant Valley, right? What would you do if you were me, Phobos? I would reveal... everything. The truth is not comforting, but it has proven us right. We decided to build our future here on the Red Planet. Our planet. Because there is nothing waiting for us out there. It's just a shame that humans haven't done the same. Show your true face to the world. Let the humans throw their tantrums and come join us in Mutant Valley. You and the Technomancers could help us turn our city into a nation. And together, we could make the world a paradise. Where everyone can be proud of who they are, not ashamed of what they are. After all, aren't we brothers? Let's head back to Ophir. Promise me, you'll never speak of what we learned here today. I know some of you wish I would tell the truth, but I couldn't live with myself if I started a new era of war. Abundance needs us, now more than ever, to rebuild. And once I'm officially Great Master, I swear to lead us into peace. And if all goes well, happiness. Come, it's time to go. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Mancer who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. When I killed Bolgakov, I ensured she wouldn't be tortured at the hands of the ASC. But by cutting off the head of the Resistance, I unknowingly left a power gap that made the real enemy stronger. Wanting to follow orders, I shot the deserters, including their leader. Angering a soldier in my unit, pushing him away, maybe even to the point of betrayal. I remember shooting David, furious at his treason, not realizing that there was an even deeper spy hiding in my shadow. Jeff's innocent gung-ho attitude was a cover. He deceived me, and in return, I left him for dead without a second thought, allowing an enraged Nisha to do her thing. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always going to discredit me. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions. Through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. When I knowingly allowed the boy to enter Noctis, I never imagined that they would stay, and grow so much in power. Both Aurora and Alliance are now under their influence. Anton owes me more than one for cementing its criminal empire's place on this world. By becoming the great master of Technomancers, I've earned their unwavering loyalty. But I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility. Since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, our future bright. 
Scum keeps the young mutant nation alive and well. And with Phobos' help, he has managed to repel Corporation's troops time and time again. And with the incoming surge of refugees, you'd be a fool to bet against Mutant Valley. It's destined to become the most powerful force on Mars. My travels with Amelia opened my eyes to what else was out there, and what had been right there beside me. But all her trash talk, she certainly has a big heart. She's been discovering new fertile lands to empower Mutant Valley to expand. Oh, and on the side, she opens new trade routes for Noctis. Yeah, so, that's my girlfriend. Whenever I can, I accompany her. Couldn't imagine doing anything else. I miss Scott sometimes. I know he did some bad things, hurt a lot of people, and I can't blame Amelia for avenging her father's death. But still, Scott was like a father to me when I was just a rogue. And I find myself yearning to hear his little eccentricities, his strange bursts of language, his random epiphanies, that awkward laugh. The army's role in taking down Victor allowed it to regain its honorable post as the protector of abundance. The generals have powerful representatives at the assembly again. And even if the corporation has lost some luster and prestige after the colonel's reign, at least it can properly defend itself. To this day, I wonder if I was right in allying with Anton. The warriors spread across the planet, their power unmatched, unchecked, and they run their operations in broad daylight. Corruption has spiked. Even after the Colonel's demise, and all the gifts and wealth I receive, compliments of Anton, don't stop me from feeling like I... sold out. I worry about the future of abundance. It may well end up with a rogue for its leader. After all the ships in power, and all of our new discoveries, Mars doesn't look the worse for wear. There haven't been any riots, or civil wars. We still keep the biggest secret of all to ourselves. And many on Mars cling to the hope that Earth will send a team of rescuers. Meanwhile, abundance has grown strong again, and I've been recruiting new Technomancers in an attempt to do my part. I don't know what the future holds. I feel the worst is behind me. Although whenever I look up at the sky, I know that we are on our own. That I am on my own. And I start to feel the weight of these secrets, 